Okay, hello, my name is Barbara, and I will continue with microRNA topic. My presentation will more uh, about MIRIA platform for microRNA detection, then I will introduce uh, the principle and also some uh, support and on request production. So, you have heard that uh, the microRNA are hot topics nowadays. So, just imagine it as, a, as an ocean with a lot of fishes, but uh, most of the fishes are the same. They are all based on molecular biology principle. It means that uh, they are based on uh, real-time qPCR or uh, more specify uh, next generation sequencing or microarrays. However, BioVendor came with something completely new and different, and that's Mirea or Miria. This fish is a little bit different, as you can see, and uh, that is because it uses not only molecular biology approach, but also uh, immunological one. We hope that uh, this fish will get its place on the market and uh, became a good friend and maybe companion to other fishes. How does it happen? You know that BioVendor has a lot of experience with uh, micro uh, immunoassay development, and when we combine it with our interest in microRNA, Miria happened. What is it? Miria is mi microRNA immunoassay, and uh, it's a platform which covers several techniques based on the molecular, monoclonal antibody, specifically binding heterohybrids of RNA and DNA. And it gives the advantage of single nucleotide specificity and also the advantage of quantification as is known in immunoassays. I already said that the MIRIA is a platform which covers several techniques and uh, two and a half years ago pro approximately we have started with the first one because we have the mo most experience with ELISA so we transfer this technique uh, and call it MIRIA. It is transformable also for the other ones, uh, for CRIA or planar array and multiplex. We would like to move uh, to this technique in the future but we have the license, exclusive license, for all of these practices and for quantification uh, under this monoclonal antibody uh, of microRNA. This is the Mirea, the something we have started with. The basic is like that we have the monoclonal antibody specifically binding these hybrids. Uh, that's the magic, actually. Anything else is needed, only the antibody and the hybrids. Miria itself includes uh, three steps. RNA isolation, which is something a little bit separate and f uh, you need it for all uh, RNA analysis. And then the procedure uh, co uh, contains hybridization and quantification. Yeah, hybridization is the molecular biology part and uh, if you have your isolates, it, uh, in the isolates they are not only the targeted uh, microRNA but also a lot of other ones. So we add uh, specifically uh, complementary DNA probes to the target RNA which create uh, heterohybrids. Uh, so you can see it on the picture that the maybe yeah uh, that the red ones are the microRNA which you are looking for. The blue ones are uh, biotinylated probes, and the rest of it is unhybridized uh, RNA and the rest of uh, DNA probes. The hybridization is uh, under the temperature changing condition and it's in a thermocycle or thermal block and in uh, PCR tubes. So if hybridization was molecular biology approach, quantification is definitely immunoassay, kind of immunoassay. <coughs> so we have a antibody waiting, looking for its hybrids in a well and we transfer our hybrids from previous step to the well which are captured by this antibody. The antibody doesn't capture any other antibody or protein or uh, randomly matched DNA, DNA hybrids, only this heterohybrids. 
And because the DNA probe is biotinylated, we can continue and add the substrate and, uh, or, or streptavidin and substrate and quantify it as we are used to in our well-known ELISA. And that's actually all. Uh, where we think that Miria is winning against the other technology. It's definitely the absolute quantification because most of the other techniques don't provide you with the quantification of your samples. So on the left side, we have the standard curve from our first ELISA leptin. And on the right side is a standard curve from our first Mireya kit, MIR215P. As you can see, they are both really similar and they say, they solve uh, the same purposes. Uh, in Miria, we use a synthetic sequence of uh, microRNA we are, which we are looking for, and it behaves uh, the same like the natural one, and that we can simulate and then subtract the concentration. So it's quantitative, remember. Uh, the next one is robustness. Uh, we have measured mir 215 p uh, in two samples in five days, in Miria and in the real-time qPCR. This is something like a more established method, that's why we compare it, our result with it. And uh, as you can see, the coefficient of variation, which is something as a marker for repeatability, the smaller number means, means bigger repeatability, uh, is in Mireya, uh, Mireya in both cases under 20. These numbers cannot be seen here. Uh, I don't deny that uh, real-time qPCR is a really sensitive method, but the small difference in CT cycle means the big difference in number of copies. And that's also why uh, samples are run in triplicates, usually in real-time qPCR. And in Miria, it's okay to do it only in singlet or doublet. So it's robust. Uh, yeah, I also said it that the qPCR is something as a gold standard and um, no doubt all of the world knows it. So we tried to compare uh, the result again with this and uh, we find a strong co correlation in both cases in uh, mid 215 p as well as mid 13 p and we think so that we are at a good uh, stadium, good level to continue with our work. Uh, yeah, we have learned that uh, Mireya is really similar to ELISA, which is also seen in this uh, flowchart here. And to sum it up, it takes usually uh, until three hours to get your results. Uh, except some uh, equipment for ELISA, you need only the thermal block or thermal cycle to provide the test and that makes the Mireya really affordable. As easy as even John Travolta would be able to manage it by himself. <laughs> so, our kits. Uh, as our customers used to, uh, they involve everything which is needed to run the test, uh, like DNA probe, master standards, controls, strips, maybe something what you are not used to is a RNA inhibitor concentrate. Uh, and it, uh, from it you can create a solution for DNA hybrids preparation. So far, we have 26 uh, Mireya kits on stock, and they are easy to find on our website, or you can contact our uh, support and order something. Um, in case your customers would desire a different one, don't hesitate to contact us again. And uh, we can provide the on-request production, which takes usually three months. So after the initial agreement is done, we need approximately three weeks to test the input material, and if everything goes well, we pass the first, this first checkpoint and continue to the analytical characteristic. So if we uh, also pass this characteristic, we can continue to the producing and dispatching and sum it up, sum it, up it takes like 12 weeks. In case that the Miria belongs to the bigger family, it means that uh, it's uh, 
the mo molecule is similar, the sequence is similar to the other molecule, it can take, take a little bit longer for the development and we would accept a little also longer, a little smaller sensitivity, but it's not the rule. So now I have a small quiz for you, if you pay attention. I mentioned it all. So can anybody help me what to cross out from the first line what doesn't belong to our Mireya, Mireya kids? <laughs> <laughs> My assistant is prepared. <laughs> Magnetic bees? Yes. What doesn't belong? Okay. What's bad in the second line? Pardon? Second, second line. Second, second line? Second. Did I talk about streptavidin? Yes, I did. Dilution buffer? Also. Yes. And water? No. That's only the advantage, uh, disadvantage that you have to buy your own water. Who said no? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what, what here? I can't hear you. Can you speak loudly, please? I heard, I heard antibody. Uh, detection antibody. Somebody here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Okay. Uh, and from the last one? Correction tube. tube. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Samples are usually done before the test. Uh, yes. So far, I've been talking about the detection part, but Biovendor also provides isolation kits uh, for all kinds of tissues and uh, matrices. In case your customers already have their samples isolated, uh, it doesn't matter. Just be sure that the isolation kit used was uh, able to isolate not only the long messenger RNA, but also uh, short uh, RNA when microRNA belongs. Because isolation is a very crucial step uh, and it's not uh, a rule that uh, for all samples is done the same way with the same efficiency. Uh, we, well not we, <laughs> it's done that the si synthetic sequence are added during the isolation to monitor this step. Uh, these sequences are called uh, exogenous control. And uh, yeah, it, by this control, you can normalize your result. Uh, as BioVendor, we provide a cell 393P Mireya. It, kit, it is kit which uh, measure sequence from C elegans. And in practice, it looks like that you have a two kits, one for your target microRNA, which you measure, and then on the same sample, you measure with uh, this cell 393P. And because you know how much, what's the concentration you add to your sample, you can easily to calculate uh, the coefficient of isolation for your sample. So all of your sample will be multiplied by its own coefficient until the whole set uh, of the result is normalized. You will see, you will see, you will hear more about this normalization after the presentation, uh, after the break, sorry, in the next presentation. So I'm almost at the end of my presentation. Uh, I just want to say, if you have any questions, you can ask me here or technical support <laughs> or very useful information are also uh, uh, easy to find on our website. It's, uh, there are videos, what are microRNA, how to perform our Mireya, Mireya kits or all about, you. I think so, the, the kit itself. Now, before the break, another test. <laughs> because my presentation was dedicated ma uh, mainly to Mireya, Mireya and Mireya. Uh, it's a platform which is owned or uh, licensed by BioVendor and it's based on monoclonal antibody. So I mentioned four advantages of our kit. So do you remember any of them? It doesn't matter which one, this can help you. <laughs> so, what we think that the mirror is more beneficial than the others? Technique. 
absolute quantification. Yes, that's true. We can provide with absolute quantification. It means that it's quantitative. It's nothing dif uh, difficult. Anything else? Where should Miria be more beneficial? Fast. It's fast. Yes. Robust, affordable. Robust and affordable, exactly. Here, there, and there, I don't know where I go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's robust and it's affordable. And almost there. There. And finally, it's really, it's really all from my side. I hope that you enjoy the presentation and maybe next time we can see some of these places to keep the uh, presentation more thematical. <laughs> <laughs>